Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this episode. This is, guys, this <laughs> may be the greatest technological advancement since <laughs> since the beginning of the car. We have we are embarking on something that is not only smart but it is inherently creative. Adapt, overcome, innovate. Adapt, react, react, <laughs> over, adapt, act. Okay, we have strapped a GoPro I, to my I, own. I gotta give us a slate. What a buzzkill. What a buzzkill, Zach. Zach is interrupting. Sorry. Oh, Buzz Aldrin was fucking nay-naying on the moon. <laughs> Would you stand up and say, excuse me, Buzz, <laughs> we need a slate. Unbelievable. In the middle of JFK talking, <laughs> four score and seven years ago, he said. You remember that? Rainy, I'm going to need you to, to, as you laugh, just keep your head very still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in case you're listening to the audio, we just are very excited that Rainy... In case you're listening to the <laughs> podcast, the audio yeah. show as audio. Is audio, is audio. Mm -hmm. Then it makes sense that you'd be like, huh? But, er, <laughs> Scrooby. But Rainy has a GoPro strapped to her head. <laughs> Miles has a GoPro strapped to his chest. I thought we were going to do the, hey guys, we're back in the in the studio. <laughs> just kidding. We're plogging. Well, that's clear though to the video listeners. You, we don't know that. Hey guys, we're back in. Let's do it anyway. Yeah. Rainy, hey. I've never been aware of how much you move your head until this moment. Moment. It's hyper smooth, <laughs> baby. That's a GoPro Hero 9. <laughs> it's your director's eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I I'm do move my head a lot. But if hyper smooth is on, Zach, then you're not even going to know. You're not even going to know. We've got GoPros here on Miles' <laughs> chest and there on Rainy's head. We are going to be going around the office and we thought, uh, let's get this sh sh shit mounted. Interesting. Um, mounted. Mounted, Zach. <laughs> What, what's wrong with that? It just feels a little pornographic. Too, too strong. <laughs> it's just a little pornographic for nine in the morning. <laughs> Do we? I feel like recently we've been recording podcasts a little bit later in the day. Yeah. To be here at nine in the morning really is like it's like well, welcome to the morning show. Even though this is the time that we recorded podcasts for years. I feel like I need to like get down well, my I knees really in front thought of you. Were opposing. <laughs> That's right. Zach's on his knees in front of me for the kind of for the audio position. listeners. <laughs> Miles just said, "I don't mean to be rude, but Zach, get on your knees." <laughs> He said it with his eyes. I don't mean to be rude, but Zach, down boy. <laughs> it happened to me. I had uh, I had an oopsie this morning. What did you do? Oh. I uh, every morning I get into the car with my smoothie and with my mug of tea, mm. and I like drinking out of the real mug. I don't think that the travel mugs <laughs> taste the same. Really? I just the, yeah, I totally agree. There's something totally about agree. putting my lips to either plastic mm -hmm. or or the metal ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, metal I can't even handle. Can't even. <laughs> Club can't even handle me right now. Club can't even handle right now. Yeah. Metal can't even handle my coffee. You need the real, the clay, whatever okay. the fuck this is. Go over a speed bump and tell me that you're not spilling. Well, so that is that is the, the life I live. Yeah. And I understand the risk. Mm -hmm. But this morning, I did like the dad thing. I put my mug on top of the car. Oh, no. Got into the car. Started <gasps> driving. Put my hand down to reach for a oh. sip and realized it was Whoa. still atop the car. So I start slowing down as slow There's, as possible. It's still up there? It's still up there. No way. And I start <laughs> driving as slow as possible, but it's not slow enough. It whooshing on the front of my car. T everywhere. A doo -doo 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 -doo. Did it break? The The mug? And this is, this is an office favorite mug. It's the one with uh, little cats all over it. Oh! Don't say it broke. Don't say it broke. Don't say it broke. It's fine. Oh. Wow. It's a Christmas a miracle. Christmas miracle. So it'll, it landed in your $1,400 hedges, right? <laughs> <laughs> it went softly. It landed safely and softly into your orchid farm. Yeah. My, uh, <laughs> the, the multitude of butterflies I had came and carried it away. No, it landed in the street. Really? But That's a terrible somehow, mug. Yeah. It's got some scratches. Oh. It's worse for wear. Well, Kitty's got claws. <laughs> Can everyone do your best cat impression? I would... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sorry, Jonathan just gave me the stink face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got more where that came from. Your, <laughs> your stink face, you missed Rainy's incredible. I was purring. Okay, yeah, no, go oh, again. Give me it. You know how they go so low? 
<laughs> this is top five podcast moment for me. <laughs> Only superseded by Rainy doing the birds and how they sound outside. Oh, hello, Steve. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried doing a podcast laying on the ground? It's weird. Oh, my way. Well, if you do that, that yeah, my you, you guys. Above Here, Jonathan, make sure you get a picture of this. <laughs> so, okay, that was yours. Mine is going to be. Whoa. Oh, that's so cute. Honestly, Zach. hey, look, if, if, if DPs always get the shot. Yeah. <laughs> This is really. This is really fun. This is really fun. <laughs> this is. I feel intimidated. I'm worried. I'm gonna kill Zach. I don't like this actually, to be honest. Like, I do feel like I'm teetering on the on the verge. I'm so comfortable. I love lying. You like laying on the ground? Yeah, I'm a floor girl. I'm, <sighs> Can I be honest though? Yeah. One of the things that I really like about my old house, and that we're You're trying gonna have to turn the camera down to us. <laughs> One of the things I really like about my old house, <laughs> and something I'm I'm trying to do with my new house because we're waiting for a rug to arrive. Oh, I yeah. love a comfy, cozy rug that you can just like it being on the floor feels uh, nice. Uh -huh. and, like, I want that plush, plush. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. What kind of rug? Or, like what? What's the uh, vibe? It's colorful. Although we went for a, we had a really thick rug in our old house. Mm -hmm. and, tight. In the thank you is a burp. And in the new one, <laughs> it's not as thick, but it's like washable. It's like a ruggable one. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we have a baby. They're not plush like, enough, though. I know. We got Unless the, they, they have wanna... a thicker one. They have a thicker one now. Oh, cool. If they want to sponsor us, I'll tell them. We got a thicker one. But the, the problem is that, yeah, we got the ruggable so we, so we could be washed because we have a baby and he's going to do crazy stuff on it. Like poop. Yeah. I had a, a huge Miles moment for <gasps> you this weekend. HMM? <laughs> <laughs> what was your HMM this week? So I was in Iowa for a video, and I went to a restaurant. They had crab rangoon on the menu. Let's go rangoon! Oh my god! And I thought about my main man Miles. Let's By the way, go. if we even think about clipping this on TikTok, this is going to be real weird. No, it's actually going to be perfect because we can just slice the vertical here. Okay. <laughs> and then rotate you, and we've okay. got a perfect vertical frame. We're going to be like, why that bitch lying on the ground talking about crab rangoon? I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Not only did they have crab rangoon, they had crab rangoon French fries. Oh, a Rangoon fry? Wait, how does that even work? There's you, a crab inside the fry. By the way, Miles, his excitement, I saw just a little speckle of spit drop, drop, <laughs> drop nine feet <laughs> onto my forehead. What's great about this is nine it's also top. sort of seeing, and it, obviously behind the jeans, but it's seeing my penis. I love that. It sort of is a, it's like an, a downskirt shot. It's like a POV. Yeah. That's how they do it. POV, I'm about to piss on Zach. <laughs> It's sort of how it looks. That feeling when you're about to pee on your old boss. Stop spittling at me. That Look, time I was able to dodge it. But that when was I a, spittle normally, you're uh, sideways from me, so the spittle goes down. You are directly <laughs> underneath me, which I makes it harder. It. I know. I'm in the splash zone. Okay. Not only did they have crab rangoon fries, they had crab rangoon nachos. What? <laughs> a crab rangoon nacho and you didn't even get me to go? Not only that, Miles. Frozen, fat, flash frozen so I could reheat it by home in L.A.? Miles, it keeps going. <laughs> they had crab rangoon burger. <laughs> what what does place? that mean? You can't just say rangoon <laughs> and have it be a rangoon. They had crab rangoon pizza. What the fuck does is that, that just mean? Crab, crab on rangoon pizza? <laughs> is just like crab rangoon is like a stuffed cream cheese pocket. And they said they're like, oh yeah, this is an Iowa specialty. A no, delicacy. It's not. Apparently, crab rangoon is all the rage in Iowa. <laughs> what I love about that is it's like it's a specialty in Iowa. We just get our crab from a hundred thousand miles away, <laughs> blown the into a landlocked state. Yep. <laughs> that is crazy. I, I mean, also learned yeah. that um, so I was flat as hell. But apparently in the, and it's got like very little water from what I can tell, but in the <laughs> summer, it's humid as hell because of all the corn. It creates a microclimate. Corn tornado? The corn just like, the excess of corn, it releases moisture in the oh. air. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, but anyway, the land of Rangoon. The yeah, Rangoon. I do think that crab Rangoon should be a staple on most menus. I don't know why people aren't serving them. Of course, like, I believe that Maggiano's Little Italy should have, like, pasta, garlic bread, crab Rangoon. <laughs> it should be a it normal be like a appetizer menu. to have. Yes. Buca yes. de Beppo. Remember Man, when we they're went to so Buca? good. Remember when we went to Buca for our holiday party? Yeah, bro. That was Liddy. That was Liddy City. Was that last year? No, it was like no, it was a couple the, the first ago. year of the company. Uh, we were uh, strapped for cash. We were young, but they gave it to us for free. Yeah. Because they did some social posts. We are here in the stewed. Is it time to get up? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're here in the stewed because we are going to give you guys a tour. Uh, Without a Recipe Live is happening today, if you're listening to this. Oh, that's true. Uh, are you uh, nervous? No, I'm, no. 
I just go in, fart around, have a good time. Uh, uh, Keith <laughs> is not here because he had himself a little COVID exposy. He's That's doing. Right. He's testing negative, but just to be safe, he's staying away until the live stream. Um, but yeah, we're super amped. This is the the biggest thing we do every year. We have completely disassembled the office we're building a, a second kitchen mm -hmm. um it's so cool we want to show everybody around i'm curious uh what are you guys making do you know yeah we're making chicken and waffles um yum by the have, way we have the the head chef from roscoe's coming Zach, i think you can make that that well and here's the thing is that yeah, at this point are you really bad at cooking or is it sort of a <laughs> zach zach sort of putting it on for no the i'm i'm fucking bad when we were in the pre-thoughts rachel was like she was asking me questions and i'm like is it not just pancake mix and a waffle press and then yeah right? I yeah that's <laughs> sorry unless you're bougie it's the uh pearl mining company or whatever they call it now no no hints by the way but then she was like she, she asked me something about like ri rising agents and i was like oh it's more than just like sugar and milk so I gotta think about. I, mean, I, I don't want to give a hint. I don't want to like, give any hints, but I just am like, how do you um, fuck that up? The yeah. chicken part sounds hard. Yeah. Well, and and okay. One, I try to not think about it until we are in there. I like oh, that. Yeah. That is my approach. I come up with my creative and then I flush it from my brain. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Um, but but we for the live specials, they're they're very different than without a recipe. We need to come up with something that we can conceivably Ew. film oh, yeah. within real time, right? So that is why we're doing something that is on paper a mm -hmm. little simpler. Like last yeah. year we did churros. That is very achievable within mm. a live time. But then we've added, you know, all of our elements. There's a lot of things that can mess it up. So one, our creatives are wacky and zany and we're ambitious and, yeah. and we're idiots. Um, but then there's the live voting aspect as well, oh. where the audience, it, we're actually giving them more power this year. So one, you know, there's the, you get to vote on the winner, right? That's mm -hmm. classic. Yeah. But you get to vote on things during the show. Oh. So uh, we're, we're, we're locking those in now because we don't want to make it like so intense that you can really throw the thing. Yeah. Mm. But there are power ups and power downs. Oh, oh that's, that's great. Fun. Do you want to give someone a hint? Do you want to <gasps> take a utensil away from this someone? This is the Hunger yeah. Games when you get the little package. Yeah. By the way, I think Hunger Games would be a great reality show. We're gonna yeah. that's our next live stream. Uh, that's try it. guys kill each other. I actually think that <laughs> try guys hunt each other for sport. Yeah. Where one person goes out to the woods nude yes. and everyone else has like airsoft. Try guys guns, play the most dangerous game. Is a great yes. idea. I'm into that. Um by the way We <laughs> hunted Mr. Beast. The, honestly, I would love to hunt <gasps> Mr. Beast for sport. You guys versus Smosh. Okay. <laughs> Randy trying to work Smosh in. <laughs> by the way. I was thinking also, do you guys have measuring cups or like, can you take yeah. away your measuring cups on a, without a recipe or do you have access? We have them. We just typically don't use them because we don't it's yeah, know it's what better. they are. Right. You're <laughs> like, like it, it's just going to be uh, by tape. But, you know? but no, no. If you watch, um, which I know you do, you're a huge fan. Thank you I for watch watching. All of them. Yeah, I watch all um, of them. Uh, we like all in this season, like when I was making cake, like I did, I did a measuring cup and I knew certain ratios and yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, cheating. Cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but what so, are you most excited for? Because the live stream is fun. How long is the whole live stream? Well, we are. It's going to be like two, two and a half hours. It's a, it's a meal. It's yeah. a, um, you know, actually, I, I will say I think it's well worth the price of the ticket. And we are doing a lot in our power to make sure that you get mm -hmm. more than your value's worth. Um, I will say last year, the office was like, that was so fun. Like people so who were here were like, the vibe was just great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a huge crew working on it. When we learned a lot from doing last year as well. Um, like I thought it was really good, but as soon as it ended, we go, great. Now I know how to do that better. Yeah. So um, one of the hardest things is that so much of without a recipe is made in the edit. Mm -hmm. We don't want any of this dead space. So we have Devlin, uh, one of our editors, he's going to be here live scoring it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, with with um, like the same tracks that we use in our episodes. Right. And he oh. has he has graphics packages. We have all that stuff, but that's we're going to so be cool. like, there were a couple moments in the live stream last year where there was just like silence. Yeah. Um, and we don't want, you know, that. Yeah, yeah have music. Music. Uh, that's going to really elevate it. The graphics. Uh, people who are watching at home get to uh, control what camera they watch. So there's oh. the director feed where you can watch what you know rachel's calling live you can also watch the behind the scenes cam where you see all like the chaos going on that's cool or you can just be like i only want to watch popkin the whole time 
Uh, and, and <laughs> you... Bobkin texting when he's not cooking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like when you're in class on Zoom class and you're like pin your crush to the thing. Pin your crush. Watch the teacher. Uh, should we go? Yeah, let's go out yeah, into let's the world. Let's check this out. Um, I don't even know really what's what's happening today because every day, every day is an adventure here at Second Try. That's right. Whenever Rainy looks down at the age six, we're sort of getting that on camera. <laughs> That's that is BTS in so a big way. Here is the main pit where we normally have all of our desks. We've moved them out. Oh, whoa, uh, this is new. Yeah, and so we built a whole second kitchen here. Um, I first of all, look at these plates. They are gorgeous. The production design team they snapped. Yeah, those plates they are snap. cute. I love it. Uh, we have all these disco balls. There's a mushroom disco ball in the back in the BG. I really like this shelf of sort of eccentricities. <laughs> Which is your favorite eccentricity? I, th- I think I like the one that looks like a sea urchin slash oh, landmine. Oh yes. Yeah. I, let's go over. Oh, and I actually, it's next to this ribbed lamp. Okay, ribbed. Uh, porcel- okay. It's a, it's Once a again. Rib, Zach. <laughs> it's a porcelain Jesus. ramp that certainly can't work. No, it's going to turn on. It's plugged in. There's no way that light gets through that. That's so cute. I am excited to see that lamp. I will be watching the tune live in. to see yeah. that lamp. Lamp cam. <laughs> you can tune in just to see the lamp go on. Rainy will be here uh, capturing lamp cam for all of it. Uh, let's keep moving along. This- You're thinking about traveling to another country? And you want to fit in with the locals. You want to be able to order a croissant and say more than just the word croissant. But how will you do that? I'll tell you how. Rosetta Stone, the most trusted language learning program. It's available on a desktop or as an app, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. It is amazing. It's something I am planning on using next time I travel internationally because I really, really want to be able to actually say more than just good morning. Rosetta Stone is the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 different languages offered, and it has fast language acquisition. It has a built-in true accent feature, which gives you feedback on your pronunciation. It's convenient. It can be on your desktop. It can be on your phone. It's got audio companion and the ability to download your lessons offline, and it's an amazing value. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. Look at this plate. This green one is like really speaking to me. Kind of like a... A green flower. It's a daisy. I will say I love a set flat like this. Just a big, beautiful set flat. Man. Fake brick. Fake brick. Exposed fake brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very pleasant color. It's kind of a periwinkle. Yeah. Is that what it's you call not, this? No, I call it blue. cerulean. It's definitely cerulean. And then over there we've got coral and Valentine's red. Ooh, yeah. I like Valentine's red. You think that's Valentine's I think that's more of an orange. No, the, not the middle, the outside. Ah, yes, I agree. <laughs> like, it's coral, yeah. but coral is good for the inside. Colors in their names is really fun. I know. I just like pic- pic- picturing like somebody being like periwinkle. I like picturing yeah, so the person who named it at the paint factory. What color do oh, you think? Yeah. What would you call this sort of purple? Oh. Doing. What'd you say? Doingo. <laughs> doingo purple. Oh, we're making it up now? Let's yeah. doingo. This uh, is um, he. Mint's cousin. <laughs> Mint's, Mint's cousin. Weird cousin. <laughs> By the way, I, t- I said one time a long time ago, I was like describing something as mint white. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But a lot of people were like, there's no such thing as mint white. And I said, no, ah, mint skirt. white. Actually, there is. Uh, there is because I made it up and I figured it out. <laughs> so, skirt. but I love this act. It's very disorienting to have this sort of whole other room. Well, and yeah, I mean, all of our. Oh, de- let's go to crafty. Our desks. This has got to be crafty. We got Frank's red hot, ready to eat. No, this isn't crafty. <laughs> this is um, ingredients. Uh, ingredients. So um, I forget what I'm making. Okay, no, I remember. Um, but uh, th- this is fun is that we had a, uh, a Google list where we had to uh, put in any ingredient requests. And I was busy that week and I didn't. Whoa. And Zach. Classic Zach. Rachel said, whatever you said in your pre thoughts like four months ago, we filmed our pre thoughts for the live when we did the season without a recipe. So that was before Keith. Oh, Whoa. paternity leave. Like, that was a long time ago. So you probably ago. don't even remember what you said. I have no memory. <laughs> so I just listed a couple things like what I think is in my dish, and they got it for me, and I better hope I was right. 
Oh, interesting. Might, and you're going to find out live what ingredients you said yeah, four months again, ago. Again, I'm going to think about it, but not till Thursday morning. A lot of maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, we've got like 18 balls. Loaded in. Well, one's just for me to, mm. to glug glug on, on camera to get me going. That's one of the, yeah, if people pay extra, they tip you. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll guzzle a maple syrup live. By the way, that would be an honor. That would be kind of sick. I hope you got the pickles, Zach. That's a Someone plus got 10 pickle. points. Who would have gotten pickles? I'm trying to think of everyone's Who got dish. this? This water bottle. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, let's keep moving. Yeah, let's keep moving. Everybody say hi to Kaylin. Kaylin, hey, are you excited for Without a Recipe Kaylin's Live? just filming us. I'm so excited for Without a Recipe Live. Let's yeah. go. We love that. Okay, there's a ladder. There's lots of fake plants. Uh, this is also, I mean, we they're like setting up all these lights. And so to get into the office this morning, we had to like crawl through a maze. Is This yeah. will move. Well, so here's the question. Are you cooking here or in the fake set? Uh, both. There's two. two Kaylin just knocked over a tomato sauce. <laughs> and now she's grabbing it. Literally kicked a can of tomato sauce. It actually wasn't sauce. It was cement. No, it's tomato <laughs> sauce. Oh, oh barge, it. air, all, yeah, what's that? <laughs> All-purpose cement from Barge. We, uh, we're going to have two, ki two kitchen sets simultaneously. Oh, so you're cooking at the same time? Yeah, so two of us will be here, two of us will be there. Um, oh. uh, and I, we usually stagger the start. So yeah. like it'll be uh. team one starts, and then team two starts. It's, it's a different uh, product than, yeah. than the Without a Recipe on the channel. It, it kind of has to adapt for the live. That's cool. Um, but it's, there's something about knowing that it's live that also like increases this what are you doing are you pouring keith's hot sauce into bottles of hot sauce you guys have six open bottles of keith's, keith's hot chicken sauce. sauce are they all <laughs> expired and we're sort of mixing and matching <laughs> yeah so we're gonna have one gnarly cocktail of only one bottle of keith's chicken sauce yeah that makes sense hell yeah we need more room in the fridges <laughs> i get that i did uh they they moved everything around this morning so i did go to look for my tea and it is gone <gasps> If anyone finds my tea, oh. please let me know. This is Zach's special, specialty that smells like coffee. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Dandelion? It's really good. Wait, we've talked about this before. Okay. Uh, we we, we, we repainted this <laughs> kitchen as well. It's this beautiful green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a stunning green. Let's spend some more time on it. It's a stunning <laughs> green. The grasshopper sea adjacent. Yes. Seafoam. Sea sea <laughs> like a seafoam grasshopper. This is sort of mint green, if I may. Uh, green um, mint. Oh. I think, okay, so... Miles, me and Miles are going to speed run what we would have done for churros to okay, tease. For churros, what I would have done? I would have done flour, water, milk. Baking soda. Baking soda. Baking powder. Then we're going to roll it all up. Actually, you know what I wouldn't have that? done? Okay, well, that's my matcha. Oh. That's oh, huge. Okay, Chris we found, found matcha. The Zach's oh, matcha. Oh, that's where my tea was. I brought it to Iowa. You just left your tea in Iowa? No, I brought <laughs> it back from Iowa. By the way, Chris, I, have to, I haven't unloaded those cards yet. In the camera bag. Look at all this gear. I don't think you're going to touch it, but... That's good. Zach just has un unoffloaded media. Yeah. It's ready to go. By the time this has come out, we have uh, a teaser of all of 2024, uh, and we'll we'll do an episode about that specifically once Keith is back, but... Uh, Next one, week. One of the shots from, from the Iowa trip made it in there. Oh, a teaser for videos to come in 2024? It's it's a it's a teaser of like a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Oh dang! Yeah, Zach was talking about a very secret thing that this morning and he said, "Wait, I'll tell you later." Yeah. He was keeping a secret. From Miles me. is no longer covered by our NDA. NDA. <laughs> now I'll tell you. Um. So here we have the studio. Oh damn, baby! <gasps> wow, Let's wow. go right in here. Okay, some really exciting things. So first of all, we have this like oh my this gosh, Lisa Frank ass translucent. What, what would you call this? This um, is new. Shimmer I space. This yet. Shimmer space, Chris. What's the name of this material? Um, shimmer space. Shimmer space. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, this is where we're doing all the beauty shots. So we have a lazy Susan that's been covered in a metallic yeah, sheen. Susan? Well, oh, Susan. Wow. Susan knows who what she did. <laughs> uh, my favorite is I think in an episode Popkin called it a helping Lisa. <laughs> it's a helping Lisa. <laughs> he couldn't remember what it was. Um, this I want to live in this set. I I it's love beautiful. it. Um, I mean, it's such a logistical nightmare to like get all the food, get all the beauty shots. Dude, yeah. it's it's nuts. All at once. Um, over here, they're currently working on lighting, and this is the sickest shit ever that Chris wow. made custom for us. So look at oh my gosh, the Chris. light splash. Whoa. And actually, turn around, you can see it again here. Whoa! Whoa. So uh, uh, let's go. This Chris made awesome. this himself. 
he he first tested it with cardboard and 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 like gaff tape uh but this is a more wow. legit version this it's is a, sick. a bunch of different co- strips of colored gel yeah. um I, chris do you want to tell us how you did it we cut some gel <laughs> he nailed it, guys. <laughs> but I love that it's a single light, but it looks like a million different lights. Yeah, it's so That's unbelievably really cool. vibey in here. I um, this is central, man. it's just starting to come to life. It's gonna look even better. I don't mean to show the product before it's done, but we're getting people excited. Also, I mean this like talking about this table. This and table chairs. has to be a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you it's think, a beautiful, expensive table. You think that's real marble? Is it not real marble? I don't know. No, I have real. no idea where we get this shit. This, this is these a are, fucking crazy table. These are rentals. I mean, we... we uh, It's a rental. Look, man, I just approve the budget and they go wild. That's awesome, man. I don't, know how, I don't know how we find this stuff. Now, Rainy, remember that wherever you look is sort of Zach and I's camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting me in 4K. And oh, I'm, I'm like... getting you in 4K and Rainy <laughs> is getting the POV. Rainy's basically a drone shot at this <laughs> point. Rainy said, I will make the viewers at home vomit, and yeah. that's a promise. <laughs> Rainy panning full head side to side looking around. I also like these little lamps. Yeah. Who are judges? Has that been revealed? Uh, it has been, and thank you so much for being a, a fan, Miles, and paying attention to all of our <laughs> Well, no, because I, I, I scour over every Try Guys tweet, yeah. every Try Guys story. <laughs> you have I, alerts on. And I have alerts on, <laughs> notifications on. And you're texts. actually, you're seeing so much of it that yeah. you kind of, it all, it like, all you washes forget. away, yeah. yeah. So we have uh, we have everybody. <gasps> everybody is coming back from this entire season. To so, judge the same thing. Well, so we have Rosanna, of yeah. course. We have the exec chef from from Roscoe's. Oh uh, Quasi, who was a contestant, mm-hmm. is going to be on the judging panel. Nice. We have Johnny Cakes and Marissa, who oh are going to be hosting. That's something oh. else that we learned last year is that like we craved kind of a live announcer yeah, right. to 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 bridge it, uh, bring us along. So they're gonna be like, nice. I, I mean, they're gonna be dressed up all cute, like talking Aww. about it. They may jump in to taste and judge just because they're funny. These are the hosts, yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, Jared's jumping in the kitchen with us, so we got we got That's a full great. house. That's so weird. That's My phone weird. must have been off. <laughs> I actually, I did, I wanted you to be in the live, um, but people loved Popkin. And Look, so I was like, we got to bring him back. I love Popkin. And honestly, I think that he's one of our greatest talents. He makes me laugh. No he's matter, like top, no matter maybe, what he does, he makes Maybe me number laugh. two, you know, yeah, yeah. just behind. <laughs> he's I, number two, just behind me. I want you in the kitchen um, for next season of phoning it in. I'd love to be. And, hey, Zach, it's an honor. And I'm going to hold you to that. Don't I, cut this out, Jonathan. <laughs> And Even then, if Zach sends you an email that says, cut this out, I was just saying it in the moment. <laughs> Don't you dare cut it out. <laughs> Rainy's getting me a, a real vertical angle, a real size. Sorry. Rainy's <laughs> capturing, capturing my belly button. Really? No, no, no. It just, you, you're, you just hang on. It just went off skew just <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm skiing and my dad is moving around my ski helmet. No. <laughs> like it is. It's starting to like slip on your head. Like it's like into your eye. Yeah, I feel that. I, sure. you, I just want to see it. There we go. Here, look at us. <laughs> wait, wait, is my hair all poofy? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it would. I wouldn't say it's the best your hair's ever looked, but it's certainly not the worst. What are you most? <laughs> okay. Whoa, Zach. <laughs> It's him? because the ma- there's, that's way worse. <laughs> this is crazy looking. Well, but here's the thing. <laughs> Assume that she's going to be looking down at the, the There zoom. we go. That's way more comfortable. Oh, that's a good point. So, Zach, what are you most worried about after insulting Rainy's hair about <laughs> yeah. your sort of experience on Without a Recipe Live? Are you worried you're going to say a, s- a curse? <gasps> um, I mean, yeah, you guys know how often you have to, like, edit out all my... my yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> being live is going to be tough for me. Um, no, I mean, it's really, it's, it's so fun. I don't mean to say that I'm not stressed about anything, but like one, we're so, uh, happy and comfortable doing without a recipe. It is the Mm. most fun to film. And part of why we wanted to do the live is because the process of sitting in the kitchen and watching your friends cook, you are, your, your belly hurts from laughing for a full 45 minutes or however long the take is. Guarantee your money back. (laughs) <laughs> money back guarantee. Yeah, if you don't like without a recipe live, Miles will give you your money That's back. Right. If you don't laugh, belly laugh for forty five minutes straight. Miles, guarantee, I will personally reimburse. Oh yeah, with the company card. Okay, all right. Well, um, no, that's uh, that totally. Like it it's just such is a fun so product. Funny. So I mean, I I I usually don't get to watch the other contestants because I don't want tips. But if mm. I go first, you know, we film like yeah. you know, let's say me and Jared, and then Keith and Quasi go or whatever. So 
if I've already gone, then I'll sit behind the monitor and just watch. And I remember, uh, was it last season where Keith and Eugene had like, they accidentally discovered Ublek when they were trying to make Boba. It was this solid and then it would be in their hand and it was like, it is hilarious in the episode and Really, I wish that we could have just released the full uncut 10 minutes of that discovery. Right, yeah. Because it was, it's just, it's magic. Yeah. Um, and I think fun. there's, I, I hope that the idea of like being live is is cool for the fans, that they get to feel like they're there with us, that they mm-hmm. get to feel like they're part of it. That's, Cooking that's with the hope friends. anyway. What? Cooking with friends. Cooking with friends. Friends. Well, you know, it's interesting. When I first started the company, we did a couple live things. And I remember being told explicitly like, oh, we don't really do that much live stuff because we, we're not that comfortable at it. At mm, the very beginning oh. of the company, there was like a couple live streams here or there. And it's nice to see how far you guys have come where I feel like you've done so many very successful live events and it's become an integral part of the company. That's interesting. I mean, yeah, certainly our like editing has always been yeah. part of what makes our humor work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, mo- Keith is uninterrupted funny for the entirety of his filming. I typically uh, thrive in the edit. Yeah. <laughs> Zach is best edited. I, I, uh, as any listener to this podcast knows, I'm, I'm best when edited. Well, uh, I remember something that I that you told me that I wrote down, it was so important I wrote it down, is that some YouTubers are not even good at performing, they're good at editing. Yeah, oh, 100%. And I think that, that I've, that's been inspiring to me because I'm like, oh, if I can like practice editing too. Like editing is just as important as all of it. Oh, you'll meet some of these people at VidCon and you'll be like, oh, you. the only reason that you're good at this is like, one, you can thrive alone. Yeah. Like alone, they can get that get it out. Yeah. And they're good at editing, so they can make it feel like a one cohesive thought. Right. But if it was like the live uninterrupted, I mean, you hear that about movies too, where it's like if yeah. the director's cut of a lot of movies that have won Oscars went out, then the movie would have a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Because like the you know they're just too close yeah. to it or whatever. But I, I, I mean that that's certainly me and where I came from as a performer. Mm-hmm. Like Keith is a live performer. He, yeah. he yeah. did improv. He traveled the world doing that. Traveled the country. Yeah. Um, the world. Let's not, you know, over, <laughs> over uh, give him his uh, yeah. accolades. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for me, I, I started performing because I knew what clips I needed for the edit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Uh, right. So that's, you know. I mean, that is one thing also that I feel like I took from here, which is that, like, as you're shooting... Think about the edit and how it's going to all edit together, yeah. and you're sort of building the sequence as you go. Yeah. So then, once you get to the edit, even though like when I was shooting stuff for us too, like we'd be on location, I'd be like, okay, I'm picturing like how the pre thoughts are going to cut into whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should get this piece of B roll because I know that they're going to want that because of this right. pre thought. So like it right. helps to edit as you go, thinking about it. So when you get to post, you kind of have. Sometimes that. I'll like in an interview like. Say a question like this, exactly. yeah. and they'll start to answer. Like, oh no, no, no! I just you, wanted to smash cut to me doing something stupid exactly. later. Yeah, I, I right. know that what I said is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, or like, yeah, like being confused in the moment is like gonna cut so well to right. later yeah, when yeah. something is chaotic. Yeah, it really yeah. Helps. I also think like the edit itself can be funny. Like you showed me a Keen Peel sketch, and you're like, look at where they're cutting, and like imagine it if they had cut differently, it wouldn't be funny. Yes. Like the edit is the funny part, not. I mean, they're funny too. Yeah, they're so Key funny. And too, are but, funny. <laughs> but Key and Peel are funny. But Key and Peel are funny. That's true. But uh, no, so very funny. brave of you to say. But like, yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. a difference between like an edit, like yeah, a funny edit versus like a funny line. Yeah. And a funny line, like without the correct edit, won't be funny because yeah. you're not seeing the reaction. You're not cutting to whatever else, and it just yeah, it's everything. Can you think of a yeah. favorite edit. Favorite edit? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, mean, I got one. Oh, please. I got one. RuPaul Drag Race. Tell me. By far the best. And I think the editors have won Emmys. They, it is an extraordinary edit. So you're just talking broadly the whole show. Yeah. They, it's, they've won a number of times. But oh, it's I'm, a great, like, There's yeah. this one moment. Reality is so hard to Where, edit. yeah, there's some lip sync and the one of the drag queens jumps over the other one and does a somersault. They cut to this other drag queen being like, Shamu, and they, <laughs> they broke the music. Like I couldn't believe it. it was like such a bold edit and it was so funny and it went viral. It was really, really good. That's so good. Honestly, if you know that moment, drop a Shamu in the chat. Yeah. Drop a Shamu in the chat. <laughs> uh, Favorite edits. The, the one that I always think of is in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which obviously has oh, a, so a billion great good. edits, but uh, Michael Sarah is on top of the 
the he's watching Chris Evans's character skateboard forever. Yes. And he goes like, wow. And then it cuts to him skateboarding. And he goes, wow. Cuts to him skateboarding. And then he has one where he goes, wow. Yeah. And he holds a wow. And they cut away in oh, the yeah. middle of his wow, yes. which just gives your brain the impression. One, there's something about the interruption uh-huh. that is, um, it's jarring. And that jarringness, like it makes you... Mm-hmm. You know, it's about interrupting a pattern, right? Which makes you laugh. But it also gives you the the image in your mind that the wow just goes on forever. Right. Yeah, which right. makes it so much funnier. I think that, like, honestly, this is an edit that it's a slower pace. It's not like a comedic edit. But uh, in the social network, after the first scene where he gets broken up with his girlfriend and then he runs through the campus and the music, like, just is, like, quivering. And I just think that the sound editing there yeah. is so fucking good. And, like, he's running through the Harvard campus in flip-flops and you hear yes. them, like, shuffle. And someone's, like, playing violin and it just Ooh. softly fades in. It's like... And it's, like, and he's just... Like, yeah. It's so... It paints such a perfect ding, portrait ding. of, like, Illinois. oh, like, I feel like I'm in college. I feel like I'm, you know, running from this bar and whatever. Mm. I just love that. Sound editing, I think, is... Sound is, editing is really cool. So fucking cool. Podcast check. Podcast. Uh, <laughs> Audio media. Well, honestly, I feel like that was one thing that we got to play with, which you never get to play with, yeah. was in the uh, disability and COVID yeah. episode. We had to do some music and sound editing to make it feel like a cohesive piece because it was like all these different interviews yeah. put together. Which was super fun. That was and super it fun. really elevates. Yeah, I think it elevates. But in terms of the live event, I will say I've been going live on Instagram and there is a je ne sais quoi about being live. Yeah, you you tell us what you've learned that you can maybe tell Zach. <laughs> yeah. Because when you go live on Instagram, you're sort of creating art. It's, <laughs> it's sort of culture. How, how, what do you have any advice for Zach? Well, what I will say is the adrenaline will take you. <laughs> <laughs> what Have you done anything on the live that uh, you've come to regret? Um, <laughs> Not yet, although I will say that is a danger for me for sure. <laughs> Randy is one inch away from being canceled. <laughs> Revealing all the company secrets. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wait, I... Oh, I think that was not supposed to be said. Oh, that was a secret. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, I think you'll be fine out there. <laughs> That's going to be fine. Just the adrenaline will take you. <laughs> hey, sweetie, you'll be fine. You'll be just fine, Zach. I mean, you do some live shows. Oh, I do live shows with Twitch and stuff like that. You're really reacting to the comments, which in this, yeah. you don't see the, com- you're not really seeing the comments as much, but they are affecting the stream. We are not seeing them, but they are getting called out to us on yes. occasion. So, and then we also do polls. Yeah, right. Like I remember last year we were like, who do we think is doing the best? Who's doing the worst? And, yeah, that's funny. Uh, and then to know you're doing the worst. Yeah. <laughs> is going to inspire you greatly. Oh to do yeah, better. that's going to be. A, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. last year they people said that I was doing it wrong and I'm like, well, you know what? I didn't need that right now and yeah. uh, I'm down and you're kicking me while I'm down. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Negative and vague. I, like, give me a negative hint. and vague. <laughs> I was so confident that I knew how to make a churro last year, and yeah. when I put it into the fryer, it disintegrated. Oh, Zach. I know. I have to say, when I think about churro, I'm like, I could do that, but I don't. I, but then, as I was listening to the ingredients, I actually maybe dense don't. bread put in the fryer. That's they, all. Exactly. That's all. They, they also they they give us red herrings every time we do it without a recipe, and so I saw what I was convinced was a churro press. Yeah. It was a sausage maker. Oh, that is such a good red herring. And I didn't know, and I tried to make a churro with the sausage maker, and it did not work. Oh, no. Sausage can be good. I had a chicken sausage recently, and I was like, Chicken sausage from Trader Joe? Was it apple apple chicken? No, it was spicy Italian. Oh, but it was not from Trader Joe. It was not from Trader Joe's. That's shocking. Whole food? Yeah. (laughs) It was from the butcher thing. From the butcher at Whole Food? Yeah. You go to the butcher. I did that time because I wanted chicken and not pork. I don't know if this is good content, but I can oh, keep no, going. Oh, no, it's good. <laughs> no, it's good. you got to hear about it, your chicken oh, and not no. pork situation. Chicken sausage. People, are, people just get shot up out of their seat. Yeah. Like, even if they're chicken and pork. Mm. Uh, what? Mm. Yeah, I put it with gnocchi, kale, peas. Wait, honestly? Sausage. Go off queen. I know, nice. it was really what good. What was the sauce? But what? No, don't tell me no sauce. Gnocchi, kale, peas, and sausage, no sauce. You oil it? Buttered, I'm oil, remember. salted, I'm trying to lemon. Remember. There must have been a sauce. There must have been, because be you're describing a bunch of ingredients. <laughs> so there has to be a cohesive glue that yeah. holds them together. It could be the fat from the pork sausage. There must have been a sauce, but I quite frankly don't remember. I don't but recall. But quite frankly, I, it, it doesn't... Uh, it's escaping me, quite frankly. I'm in the tip of the tongue. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Quite frankly, it, it is ephemeral. <laughs> 
Should we go back in the studio? I think we should. Yeah. And okay. I'm going to tell you about my little culinary adventure. Okay, oh. Zach. Well, obviously, let's get You walk shot. backwards and I'll hold your hand. Hold my hand. <laughs> so uh, we've gotten real into hot pot lately, as well as shabu shabu. Ooh, um, that's fun. It, I just... Yeah, I think it's the perfect meal. I, I'm the gonna, I'm gonna not gonna lie. I really don't know the difference between shabu shabu and hot pot. One's Chinese, one's Japanese. They're so. If anyone knows, tell me. I definitely um, don't know the difference. Great. Uh, when we get obsessed with something, we just keep going hard in the paint. Uh, mm. So Maggie, like, I mean, we've literally gone maybe four or five times in the oh, last. Oh, you're going. I was gonna say, how do you? How easy is it? Because well, but it's yeah. Pretty so easy. Maggie said, you know what? We're gonna shabu at home. We took the induction stoves from the office. Incredible. Uh, we bought a shabu pot. She went to H Mart. She bought the, like the thinly sliced meat and yeah. the enoki mushrooms and like she. I came home and I was like, you know, the plan was for us to do it together. She's like, I got excited. She prepped everything. Oh, that's awesome. She had the the what is it? The kabuka squash or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, uh, and what I love so much about hot pot is that it's three meals. And the meals get more delicious as they go. Yeah. So you have this boiling broth. Uh-huh. You dip your meat. You dip oh, your veggies. Yeah. So you have this sizzling hot yes. food that you then put over rice. You, you can put in your goma. You can put in your little yuzu, uh, your soy sauce. You, 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 you shove this f- ridiculously hot meat in your mouth. Yeah. Hot vegetables. Then... Once you've been going going down, Sorry, you on just the said hot you meat. shove this hot, ridiculous ridiculously meat hot meat, meat in, in your, your mouth. mouth. Like yeah. I just want to take a pause. Yeah, you scald. The I could say you did that intentionally, but I don't even think so. You scald yourself. I still ridiculously don't even know what you're talking it's a double about. Double entendre. Piping hot meats. Yep. <laughs> the meat squirts its delicious okay. juice. Oh my god! Leap it. And it's incredible, right? That but good. that's only meal number one, motherfucker. Then you put your <laughs> noodles in there. Nudes and. <laughs> And all of the, the fats from the meat, all the flavors from the veggies has been seeping into seeping into your broth and flavoring broth. the broth, making it more dense, making it more delicious. Now you have noodles. Then, skirt, we're not done because your broth. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Rainy, give me give me your cat purr. Rainy saying period and giggling with the GoPro. <laughs> Rainy looks so funny. I think it's so funny to have everything that Rainy has on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's going on? But Zach, I just want to say that sounds like a great meal, man. And at the end you have soup. And at the end you have soup. And at the end Bruh. all of it all. I don't think I've ever had hot pot. Rainy, have you had hot pot? I I was nodding enthusiastically and I've heard it's such a cultural renaissance, but I'm yeah. like I don't think I've actually done it. I'm wondering if me and Rainy deserve hot pot on the company. Oh, I think you guys a, come on over. You're going to make me hot pot? Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Wow. Really? You want to do a hot pot night? I would oh, love I wanted that. it more. Okay. I was expecting also, just a By the way, check. love that Rainy's getting the invite to the special dinner. Yes, finally. the Rainy, last special dinner. Rainy, you made it. Ooh, Rainy, woo. Didn't get, <laughs> Rainy didn't get the special dinner invite. We're going to do plog night hot pot. Wait, what if we do hot pot at the, or plog at the hot pot? That Fog at the hot pot sounds Our so Our cameras will get steamy. Boiling. <laughs> <laughs> Boiling liquid right next to electronics. Okay, really for well the TikTok, though. I'm going to have you ask Rainy to do her purr. Uh, Rainy, can you do your best cat noise? I'm going to start. <laughs> what? <laughs> that one was really one of my best. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I can do all sorts. <laughs> me, and my friend, me and my friend Jay will just sort of go off on our cat noises. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I think. Oh, that one's good. You know what I mean? My, That's like, yeah, my toxic trait is believing that I genuinely can communicate with cats because of the power of my meow. Let's hear it. Oh my god, that was okay, but it was a little—it <laughs> was a little anime and not authentic. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan gave me the stink eye again. <laughs> Call back to the beginning. <laughs> this is making me feel like, though, that like whenever I make a YouTube video, I want to wear a GoPro on my chest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's something so stupid about it, but it just really is funny. And it's like, well, we just, it's, it's like you say, always be rolling. I have a GoPro on your chest at all times. <laughs> if you're a content creator, my biggest advice is have a GoPro on your chest at all times. I'm just feeling very safe with this on because it's like, oh, we got the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're wondering if we got it? Don't worry. There's always a camera rolling. 
di- like a funny moment happens in the office. By the way, that's good. Mandatory. Everyone wears GoPros. <laughs> Live it's like stream. body cam footage. I honestly, I really think we could pivot to being a reality show. And I've said this before, but I just, and like, this is the confessionals. There's something so funny this about room. having a private conversation, wearing a GoPro on your head. <laughs> hey, just don't tell anybody about this. But <laughs> just be like, This next year, we're mixing up our content. We're going to be live streaming the office 24 seven. Cameras bad. going home with our employees. There's no. It sounds great though. You're yeah. saying, like to edit into a reality TV show just over the drum, but it requires an honesty that I don't think we're willing to give. I am. I'm ready to give. Well, Rainey's <laughs> ready to give it all for fame this <laughs> week. <laughs> I'm ready, ready to give to it anything. for free. I don't say anything to anybody. <laughs> this week on Second Try, Rainey and Zach yell at each other about the Hunger Games in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, see, but then see, then That's you great. add a little like tender music to it, and it's like Zach in his office, just like on the phone. It's like, oh, we're now now with the power of editing, we're saying that Zach could be doing anything. Yeah, I think Zach's really scared. Yeah, he's it's on like the phone. He's actually me. working like, like he's doing big things. Really th- buy, yeah. buy, sell, sell. Buy the stock. <laughs> make the t- make the hit. Do the deal. Zach's <laughs> trying to assassinate another YouTuber. <gasps> Which one? Which one is it? Eddie, Eddie Burbeck. I was, yeah. I took a hit out on him. Would that be a good v- video? <laughs> I took a hit out on Noah Beck. You said Eddie Burbeck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Beck? I forgot about him. Such I think he's boy. nice now. Yeah. Remember when we were, sweet, yeah, we were sweet guy. For a little while we were sort of just tracking Noah back. <laughs> yeah, like Do you remember in mid twenty nineteen? <laughs> when the fuck was that? Twenty twenty one? We were tracking the whereabouts of Noah Beck for just a brief period of time. Yeah. Are we nostalgic for any TikTokers? Oh, that's have a we, great have, question. Is it has that like Yeah, I am. Did you by the way, did you see uh, Addison Ray's acting re debut in- I didn't see Thanksgiving yet. Uh, I, you're you watched fake, it? You're a fake fan. Did you watch it? You, Miles B, you're a fake fan. Live baby. Miles B. So it's hard to see me. The movie. Addison fan club revoking your membership. There's so many things I love about Addison. Oh, by the way, are you doing Thanksgiving on Guilty Pleasures? You're no longer the vice treasurer. If you do Guilty Pleasures Thanksgiving episode and I'm not in it, I'll be mad. We did it. So our, our whole GP slate got screwed up this year because mm. of the strike and then we didn't get to plan for the holidays. Mm. So right. we're just kind of doing, doing what we can. But we have we're doing a Hunger Games episode, of course, which I loved. And we're, we're coming late and we're get, we got to do a Wonka sode. You also got to do, do you want to come on a Wonka sode? I would come on Wonka sode. Uh, we're doing it Monday. I'm not getting paid to say this. Yeah, I am vibrating with excitement for Wonka. I think it's going to be so oh, bad. Yeah. I think it's going to, to be the, terrible. To the point, though, and here's what I think is yeah. going to happen, is yeah. that it's going to be very well reviewed, uh-huh. but I've overhyped it in my head. I think that Timothy uh. is going to do his damnedest, but I think the writing is not going to be there. Miles, it's the r- director of Paddington 2. You oh say God. that like he made anything of value before Paddington 2. Paddington 1! Okay, but Paddington 1 was sort of universally said that it was okay. Paddington no 2 No one said hit. that. Everyone's, no one said that. Yeah. Okay, Tell, that name someone that talks thing. to me about Paddington 1. No one. Me. No. Yes. Because everyone says Paddington 2 is so good, and I, I respect whoa, 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 that. Miles, you are, you are, first of all, you're trying to gaslight me, and yeah. I don't appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> you are changing the narrative yes. in uh-huh. a way that is that is dangerous. Look, Timothy is a family friend at this Paddington? point. Paddington? I have, Timothy's telling me, <laughs> I know people that know him. I know people that know him. Not to name That's drop true. in Hollywood, but I have several friends that I've met him that do know him. Several? I only know about one. I know. And here's the thing. <laughs> I will probably never meet him because those friends would never invite me. But <laughs> what I'll say is I think he's a great actor. I do think he's a great actor. I don't, he doesn't. He doesn't flop. I well until this. I think Miles, that you're gonna fucking eat your words. You and by the way, you he what he did, said? Paul King did direct things that were good before Paddington. What? The Mighty Boosh. I don't know what that is. He directed the Mighty Boosh. Different. It's like yeah, inter- internet content. It's what? Isn't it internet content? No, it was a television show. Was that old Greg? Old Greg. I love that sketch. Here's my thing. <laughs> When Timothy Chalamet was asked about his experience with Willy Wonka, he said, I remember growing up and watching Johnny Depp destroy in Willy Wonka. And I, I thought, okay, but... I did see that and that upset Because here's me. the thing. What I want to see is a prequel to the Gene Wilder one. Wonka. I'm not asking for this movie. I want to be clear. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't benefit. I didn't do, do this. Do you think that I wanted the directing god yeah. that is Paul King to make a Wonka musical? Which, by the way, it's, it's a, a musical. musical. No, I'm going to love it. Okay. <laughs> I did not know it was a musical. I thought that it was just another flick. They they're not Knowing even that it's, I'm gonna love this movie. They're not even advertising it as a musical well, because, because no one wants so bad the music no, has to be No, so because bad. they're making so many music they may, okay. We have Wonka, the color purple, Mean Girls the Musical, mm-hmm. 
coming out within like a month yeah. and a half of each other. Look. And none of them are being advertised as musicals yeah. because the world... They don't musicals don't do well right That's now. It's called the greatest showman effect. This is the greatest show. <laughs> now here's what I'll say. And I am sorry to say it because I know she's beloved and I do like her. Yeah. I have my doubts about Mean Girls the movie. I do too. I think that I'm worried. I fear I for the outcome. I hope it's good. Yeah. Willy Wonga, by the way, again, I'm not rooting against these films. Yeah. Okay. I'm a girl's girl. I really, <laughs> I'm rooting for Willy Wonka. I, I want to tell you that I okay. A little music update in the life of Zach over okay. here. Okay. I've been getting down hard to Renee Rapp. Oh, Renee yeah. Rapp's really great. I am a, like very much hard key obsessed mm -hmm. with Snow Angel. Hard key. Jay, just right now, it's just so clear to me that Zach's trying to stay relevant to young people. <laughs> <laughs> I am hard key obsessed with Renee Rapp. I am says Zach, comma, 31 years of age. 33. <laughs> Hard key. <laughs> so I've been listening to Snow Angel, love this album, and it literally wasn't until this morning that I realized that she was Regina George. Yeah. I just thought I just thought that she was some like I, I literally oh. described her to Devin. I was like, it's like if Olivia Rodrigo, instead of coming from Disney, was like just some indie musician who I personally on my own discovered. Yeah. And turns out, no, she's a th uh, musical Broadway. theater yeah. uh, ingenue. Yeah. She didn't come from Disney, she came from Broadway, yeah. which is arguably like the, <laughs> the better same Disney. Fucking yeah, thing. exactly. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I, here's my thing about Mean Girls. And I loved the movie. Yeah. And then the musical, I did actually see, and I thought it was good, but it's it was fine. a little, it's like, well, it's like okay, now we're doing a movie again. Like did it's you like see it on Broadway. No, I saw it on Broadway. It was it was good. There's one not song, to fart. I The fart. Halloween song specifically is like, oh, this is a bop. This is fun, and it's fun, but it's yeah. not. I am actually very excited for it. Um, our buddy Kyle Hanagami no. uh, choreographed and like oh. helped out oh. a ton on it. That's he was cool. very uh, integral in the edit, mm -hmm. and just knowing that like his moves are through the movie, I'm I'm amped to see yeah. it. And to clarify my distinction of is it on Broadway? Yeah. That's not me being a snob. That's sometimes when you see a second version of a touring show. Yeah, it is not the original cast or directors or well, choreographers. Uh, Miles would say you. There's nothing like seeing Broadway on Broadway. There is nothing <laughs> because it's the it's the peak of theater you in America. You can't recapture yeah. that when you culture. See, you see something amazing there, and it's like oh, then the touring show, and they have to make compromises with the touring show. Right. And the cast is oh, different. Oh, what you saw Mean Girls the musical in you know. Cleveland? Not the same idea. <laughs> well, it just it's not the same. It's like seeing a it's like seeing a sequel that wasn't directed by the original director. Uh huh. You know. With different some, cast. With a different cast. Yeah. So I am concerned. Also, I mean, there are memes about the costumes. Uh, guys, it is time to order lunch. Well, uh, without us be live is tonight. Uh, we hope you guys yeah. come and enjoy. It, yeah, it is like it, it's meant to be a party. It's meant to feel like a party. It's an end of the year celebration yeah. for for you guys, but also for us for the team. Um, it's it's a night where we all get to be together and and kind of hopefully break down that barrier between us and you guys a little bit yeah. where where we get to reach out through the screen and and, and feel you yeah definitely. you feel us yeah um but yeah I, I hope that it feels like a party and it can't be a party unless you guys make it a party so it can't be a party unless you, you make, make it, it a party. party uh so be in the chat light it up hashtag zach sweep um i had a whole runner this episode this season that fully got edited out so funny so funny to be putting something in every episode, being like, there's no way they can cut it. Uh, so last season I had the hashtag Zach Sweep, and uh, this season I discovered that I thought that I deserved to be upgraded to Without a Recipe All-Stars. Like, I made up this lore that there yeah. was going to be a new season of Without a Recipe All-Stars, and that because I was doing so well, I would be in it. So I started doing, like, a triangle, and I was like, All-Star. And I, that was like my, my bit all season. And it maybe makes it in the season oh, twice. That's so funny. <laughs> and I got, and I was like watching edits and they were like, like basically huh. locked. And I'm like, oh, wait, you know, that's I not in there. Realize that um, this, this runner isn't here. So funny to defend yourself <laughs> at your own company to an editor who's editing you about why you deserve to have a joke in. But I thought, well, why don't we add that back in? So and the then it doesn't is, get added back in and it's the next cut. The thing is that it's actually very funny, and I think that you don't get it. Oh. All-star. All-star. 18. Uh, so I will be all-starring all over the live stream, and they can't, <laughs> they edit can't it get out. it out because it's live. They mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting to Jared Popkin. Recipe all-star. Jared. Jared making waffles.
Well, if you find that your best jokes get edited out because they're not very good, <laughs> you may find yourself looking for advice. And when I need advice, I know where I go. Rainy, I think you're gonna, we're going to need you to stand over Miles. Oh, yeah. I'm going to zoom in. Rainy's zooming in. Physically zooming in. Zo- zooming in. This is <laughs> advice that'll go for Miles with your host, Miles Bonsignore. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for miles. Hey guys, what's up Miles Nation? Hope everyone's having the best day. Have you ever wanted to have the muscular strength of Ben Affleck? Yeah. (laughs) Gather around, kids. Have you ever wanted to have the je ne sais quoi of Renee Rapp? (laughs) Yes, sir. I I hard key like her. Hard key, (laughs) Zach likes Renee Rapp. Hard key. Hard key key is so funny to me. Do you find that you're losing stuff sometimes? You know I am. Well, Zach, do you find that you're, oh, where's my stuff? <laughs> you know it. Well, I boy, do I have a product for you. Tell us, Miles. Tell us. Where's my keys? I don't know. I don't know where <laughs> my keys go. What you're going to want to do is have a special little spot. Uh-huh. You paying attention? Mm-hmm. Because big brain guys and gals and theys and thems know where the geese are got to go. And let me tell you, uh, open a book. Because I'm telling you to install a key hook. Yeah. Uh, uh key, key hook. hook. I thought you were going to do key Uh, It's kind of like no sleep till Brooklyn. We moved into a new place recently. We put a key hook on the wall on both doors, front and back. Mm -hmm. Oh, that means you're going to have, sometimes it'll be on the front, sometimes it'll be in the back. That's fine, because at least it's going on. Because if I go through the back door and I have my keys and I'm just thinking it'll go on the table Mm -hmm. and now they're under the table now. I kind of think he's going to get confused. I would never get confused because I'm so smart. It's uh, brilliant. (laughs) But basically, we got key hooks and every time I go in the house, I think there's the key goes on the hook. Because before I was losing my keys and we'd be like, Sarah, I have to leave. Where are my keys? Oh, the worst feeling. Do you know where the keys are? Ah!" And then we wouldn't have them. We, my job at the house is find the thing that Maggie put down somewhere. Of course. Mm-hmm. I'm finding her phone. I'm really mm-hmm. good I'm at it. it. I'm able to kind of get into the mind and find it. Um, you retrace your steps. You sm- you're like, what would I do if I was Maggie? Okay, phone down. It's like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. I also, I, I have a strong belief that when things go missing at my house, just wait. Yeah, They'll I turn agree. Up. They turn up. It's, it's yeah. a, it's like a waste time. An appointment. <laughs> hey, babe, just just wait. <laughs> well, it's like sometimes it's like, oh, I can't find my wallet. Yeah. And Maggie will be like, what do, you, what do you mean you can't find your... And I'm like, don't worry. It's it's here. She's yeah, like, right. oh, you got to cancel your cards. So I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten times it's, out of ten, it's in your pocket. It's from in the my pocket, yeah. in the jacket that I wore yesterday yeah. that I took off in the guest room to lay on my heat mat. Like, it's... Give me... <laughs> Give me. Hey, are, is that hashtag relatable to you? Are you do you hard key relate with <laughs> sitting in your guest room? I don't even soft key relate. Sitting in your quote unquote guest room and laying on your heat mat. Hey kids, do you hard key have a guest room? <laughs> oh my god. Nine times out of ten, it's because I'm laying on my heat mat. <laughs> okay, you know what? Room. You have a guest room, too. You just put a baby in there. That's a good point. Yeah, he's technically a guest. He's a guest. <laughs> <laughs> he's an 18-year guest. <laughs> he doesn't pay. <laughs> he doesn't pay. Um, no, I totally agree with the let it wait thing, because all the time I'm like, where the fuck are my AirPods? And it's like, they're in a pocket. They're going to be fucking there. Just wait. Yeah. They're just going to... They're wait. in the bag that you brought to the gym just that you threw. Wait. wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. All right, we got to get off of here. Bye. Bye.